All right, guys, time for an update on Coco Coin. I said I would be covering this a lot, and I do hold a little bit of this coin. So uh, it's good to see that we are actually printing higher lows here, as you can see. Bang, bang, bang. And it does look like it's making some waves towards the upside. We had a bit of a shaky kind of accumulation period yesterday, of course, but overall looking fairly positive. If we can get over this trend line, it's going to be fantastic. But overall, yes, still hovering around that 43 million market cap, which is fantastic. Okay, uh, this is the site here as it just turns my face green for, with the reflection. Uh, but yes, this is the site here. Uh, if you guys remember, looking pretty good. No real changes on the site. But overall, yes, I mean... It's, it's, it's looking pretty good as a project. Obviously, um, BNB kind of uh, backing these guys with a bit of liquidity is something that you want to see. We talked about this in the previous video. Okay, if we ch check this out on PancakeSwap, this is how you buy it. Of course, yes, uh, you would just type it in. I oh, know you'd type it in here and then you'd swap USD for Coco very, very easily. Okay, uh, in terms of socials here, guys, they've had an explosive growth over the past day, as you can see here. 10,000 more followers or 13,000 more followers. Uh, this just means it's it's getting better. It's getting better out here for Coco Coin. More people are kind of getting involved with this thing. More people are buying it. And uh, yeah, the chart does reflect that as well. So I think this does turn out to be one of these scenarios where uh, this coin could fly. All right. But as I said, I'm really only looking for like a 4x on this thing. Nothing crazy, nothing like 100x. But uh, with this market cap uh, and with the amount of support this has got from uh, the BSC chain itself, yes, it does make sense that, uh, that this does go up. Okay, of course. Let's take a look at TradingView right now because uh, that's obviously important. We can see this chart here, obviously, uh, at the beginnings, very, very shaky, as you'd imagine with any coin. Okay. And then from this point, uh, yes, we do have these volume weighted ATR bands coming in and kind of showing that range coming through here. Yes, there's liquidity in this coin, but it's not a massive billion dollar coin yet. So there will be a lot of volatility coming through here, making indicators like this slightly less reliable, uh, but not crazy unreliable, right? So uh, yeah, if we can actually get above this kind of 14, 20, this kind of area here, then and uh, it's a great sign and it's very likely we get to 16, 17 uh, from that point as well. So fantastic stuff there. But overall, the structure here, obviously, this is the airdrop dump. Whenever any coin airdrops, it does get a dump. That does make sense. But what's more important is the recovery here. The recovery here is actually very, very progressive, I will say. OK, incredibly progressive. Uh, just higher lows across the board. A bit of shakiness, obviously, with the rest of the market. But overall, if we are just going to look at trend lines here. We have actually broken over this trend line and it does look like that potentially we could go up higher from here. Uh, um, if you are looking to get in or you're waiting to get in, I think around this area is a key area to be watching. So 1360, this kind of zone. And if you're more into a short term trade, then yes, riding that up to 1455 would be an interesting area to be taking profit for sure. Right. Um, will this thing go up? Massively, I can't really say. Obviously, I don't know the devs. I don't know uh, what's behind this coin. But overall, as a chart, it's looking a lot more progressive. And I will say that uh, as soon as we do get over this kind of breakdown point here, this is when we start to go parabolic, typically with most altcoins and meme coins, right? When you get back above that breakdown point, right? When the point from which we broke down initially, then uh, yes, uh, that's around 17 1770 this kind of area once we get above that area that's usually when we see these coins absolutely fly so let's just wait for that and see because that could be something where we add to our position that could be something where uh, we just let this thing ride and make money and then wait for that top right fantastic stuff from coco coin um that's going to be it from me have a fantastic day out there make sure you're trading safe i did put a seven minute update in my patreon so if you want to check that out that will be in the description but uh yeah that's going to be it from me have a fantastic one cheers